We're in Windows 10 using Hyper-V and Hyper-V Manager is opened. And let's take a look and see how we can turn on encryption so that way we can protect our virtual machine from any kind of man in the middle attack or in case our virtual machine is somehow stolen off of the hard drive, then they won't be able to get any data off of it. So we need to go to a virtual machine that is turned off. This will not work on virtual machines that are running. So let's go ahead and right click on our virtual machine that's off and click settings. And then we're going to click on security. So from here, we can click on Enable Trusted Platform Module. So what this does is it creates a virtual trusted platform module, and it does that within the virtual machine itself. And it will then encrypt our virtual machine. We also need to go in and check the box that says Encrypt State and Virtual Machine Migration Traffic. And what that does is if there's any traffic between the virtual machine and other computers, it's going to be encrypted. So we can protect that as well. When we're all done, just go ahead and click Apply and then OK. But then we need to do one more thing. So I'll go ahead and use the server that is running here and double click on it and click Connect. And then we'll go ahead and log in. And we need to go into Add Roles and Features, and we need to install one additional feature. Go ahead and click Next, and there it is, BitLocker Drive Encryption. Go ahead and click Add Features. We don't need the other option, but you can if you want. Go ahead and click Next and Install. So once BitLocker is installed, then we're going to right click on our drive and enable BitLocker and we're going to encrypt our hard drive. So just turning on the TPM uh, encryption is not going to be enough. We need to actually go in and encrypt our hard drive as well. And it says a restart is pending after it's done. We'll go ahead and close that. I'm going to shut down the virtual machine. We can see it works on updates, so it's updating basically the computer with the new feature that we just installed, which is BitLocker. Now that it's off, let's just go ahead and check those same boxes that we did on the other virtual machine. And then we can go ahead and start our virtual machine back up again and complete the BitLocker encryption. And go ahead and log in, and we'll get this started logged in and opened up File Explorer. Now we're going to right click on our C drive, which is what we're going to encrypt, and choose Turn on BitLocker. Now if it sees a bootable DVD, you need to remove that first. Let's go ahead and cancel that. And we'll go up to Media, DVD, and click Eject. All right, so now that's gone. We can go ahead and go back, and we can turn on BitLocker. One of the first things it asks us is how do we want to recover or, or back up our recovery key just in case we lose our encryption keys to decrypt uh, the files. We either print it or just save it to a file. So we'll go ahead and save it to a file and we'll just default to the desktop. And it's going to say, hey, you can't save this to this PC. You got to choose another location. So we'll click OK. So we'll save it to a network location and click Next. Now we can create a new encryption key or choose the compatible mode. And that's going to be for uh, drives that are going to be moved from this device, such as an external USB. Let's go ahead and choose the higher encryption option. We can also run a BitLocker system check, but we'll go ahead and continue, although I recommend that you do that. And now it's running the encryption. And it could take anywhere from a few minutes to several hours, depending on how long or how big your hard drive is. So we can see it's already done at 74% and climbing. We'll right click on the drive once again, choose Manage BitLocker, and we see that BitLocker is on and that we are protected. So that's how we set up encryption and BitLocker and a, on a uh, Windows 10 Hyper-V virtual machine.